So, you fancy yourself to be a little bit of a game designer, do you? Well, good on you! Our kits make it super simple to edit your game or just create a whole new escape room experience. Let me walk you through it. So first things first, you're going to need a graphics editor on your computer, either Paint or Photoshop. Uh, I like to use Paint.net because it's simple, it's free, and it's easy. Uh, if you've got a Mac, I'm sorry, I'm sure there's an alternative, but for simple image editing, Paint.net is great. Now, let's get into the meat and potatoes of this. You need to first extract everything out of the folder, like so, and go into the designers kit here. This is where the fun is. So before you get started, you need to go into the fonts folder and install each font by double clicking on it and clicking the install button. Now I'm not going to do that because I already have the fonts on my computer and I don't need to. Once you've done that, you can see here in the art folder, we've included every piece of art, every graphic in the game is here. We've given you total, total control, total creative freedom. We want you to go nuts with it. So go into Designer's Kit to do just that. And we can see it's a PowerPoint file, which you edit as a normal PowerPoint, okay? You need to make sure you enable editing there. Uh, you can change any of the text, any of the text, woo, typos, but whatever. Any of the text, any of the graphics, you've got control. It's that simple. So we see this is why we'll need a graphics editor, so that you can edit the graphic and then come in here and edit the text. Like for example, this is the answer sheet. If you were going to change an answer to one of the puzzles to have a different length answer, different number of letters, you'll need to change the answer sheet. So, for example, if we want to make the first puzzle have a short answer instead, we go into here, into the answer sheet, let's copy the blocks file, open that with paint.net, and let's say we want the first puzzle to only have an answer that is three letters long. Short, simple, easy. Delete that, save it, and then we delete this old thing here. We don't need that anymore because we have our new answer sheet. See? Like so. So that's the general concept behind editing here. You'll need to do that for a lot of these puzzles. You can see this is all one image that you'll need to edit outside of PowerPoint. But then you just drag it all in and combine it here. And once you've finished editing here, you need to click up into File and Export to create a PDF. Click this Create PDF button. Then you can call it Designer's Kit and then Publish. And that will compress, not compress, combine all your pages into one PDF document that you can then print easily because PowerPoint is often sort of funky when you print it. So you can see here's our edit here, here's our edit here, it's done. And this is the same way that you can export and edit the invitations and the posters. It's all the same principle. So that, in a nutshell, is how you edit the game. If you have questions, please send us questions. Uh, if you come up into here to FAQ questions, you'll, there'll be a contact form right here. Also, if you do modify the game, let us know. We want to see the way that you work with the game, the way you modify it, the, the new games that you create, and we may even share it if it's good enough. Righto. Enjoy your epic game design.